the Catholic Diocese of Rochester. Salvatore Matano will be installed as the ninth bishop of Rochester this afternoon at 2.30. That ceremony will take place at Sacred Heart Cathedral. A prayer service was held for the new bishop there last night. Matano talked about the church's priest scandal, offering a message of inclusion. Pray for all God's faithful people. Pray for the wounded, the hurt, and the victimized. Pray even for those in error and in sin, that they too find a healing soul. Matano was the bishop of Burlington, Vermont, before coming here to Rochester. He replaces retired bishop Matthew Clark. And for more on today's installation, Professor Tim Thibodeau of Nazareth College joins me. Tim, great to see you again. Good to see you, Mike. Tell us, what is the significance of this installation? We've known for some time that Bishop Matano is coming. It's a formal ceremony which welcomes the new bishop, Bishop Matano, to officially become the pastor of the Diocese of Rochester, leading this flock of more than 300,000 Catholics in 12 counties. He's already a bishop, so he's not being consecrated bishop. He's being installed, which is a different technical term, uh, taking on this new leadership role. We've talked quite a bit over the last 24 to 48 hours about the presence of Pope Francis and the impact he's had on Catholics around the world. How do you think that'll translate here locally? Will Bishop Matano have the potential for that same type of impact when he, arri when he arrives? I think the interest of the media and the interest of people both within and without outside the church um, is is precipitated in some measure by Pope Francis. He's a superstar, so I think any story that's related to the Catholic Church, a new bishop, a new mission for a new bishop, is going to get all that attention. And yet, even as we say this, we think about it's been 35 years, nearly 35 years, since our last installation. Uh, there is a long legacy for Bishop Matthew Clark, and uh, you know, big shoes in, to some degree for Bishop Matano to fill, I would think. Well, and I think it is time to pause and reflect and also honor Bishop Clark for three decades decades of service and what I find interesting as a historian and observer of the church is that Bishop Clark uh, did a lot of the stuff that the, the Pope, the current Pope, is promoting and reaching out to different members of the community who felt alienated. Interfaith dialogue, uh, a thoughtful reflection on what it is to be the church in the modern world. So I do think they are big shoes to fill, and I think it's time also to honor Bishop Clark for his service. Is there something that you'd like to see or you think Bishop Matano will make sort of a focal point as he begins his tenure here as bishop? I think a lot of people are, are wondering if he's going to follow through the Pope's call for more active um, work in the community, particularly with the poor. Rochester, as we know, is the fifth poorest city in the United States, with Detroit being number one. So Pope Francis has said to the bishops and the priests, get out there and do the, what we call the social justice ministry. We'll look for that. Tim, as always, great to see you. Thank you for your insight today here at noon. I know you'll be back with us later today.